Hello, I'm David Chaston with 989, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This is where we get everything you need to know in 90 seconds, 9 o'clock, with news. All attention on markets overnight has been on Chinese data. Chinese growth called in the September quarter to 6.9%. This is below the official target, but above what most analysts were expecting. The result was helped by a strong services sector, reinforced by strong domestic retail sales. They are up 10.9%. But for outsiders dependent on China demand, especially minerals and oil, the news has not helped their sentiment. It was their industrial production that missed the mark in the third quarter. However, the transition to more of a focus on a consumer-oriented economy is not bad news for New Zealand. It seems entirely possible China will lower its growth targets as it expands. Its very fast catch-up rate has been continuous since the early 1990s, and from here on it will revert to a more normal level. This fast transition is impressing some and worrying others. Chinese tax revenues are still rising fast, however, up 9.2%, while unemployment rate is set to be 5.2%. In the US, home builder confidence rose again and is now at a level last seen prior to the GFC. In New York, the US Treasury 10-year yield benchmark inched higher overnight and is currently at 2.05%. US benchmark oil price is marginally lower at just over $46 a barrel and the Brent benchmark is just on $49 a barrel. This is on expectations of lower demand from China. The gold price is also lower in trading in New York and London, now down more than $10 an ounce to $1,173 an ounce. New Zealand dollar starts today still holding last week's gains. It's currently at 68 US cents, 93.7 Aussie cents and 60 Euro cents. The TWI is at 72.2. I'm David Chaston. That was 98.9 brought to you by interest.co.nz.